Previously on Pokemon Sword. Welcome, one and all, to the wonderful world of Pokemon. I've got it recording at home anyway. I record all my brother's matches. Oh, you're the brother. Come with me, MC. He should be here any minute, and Lee always brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. A Wulu, but what's it doing there? He's trying to open the gate, stupid. Lee! Hop! I've got it. You must be MC. Am I right? You brought MC and me Pokemon. You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Which will you choose? You're set on fire type Pokemon score, Bunny? No. But there's not really anybody else I want. You chose score, Bunny. Then I'll go with Grookey. You're mine. Right, right, we get it. Pokedexes, then we're on it. Looks like we're off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, MC. MC, did you hear that just now? Oh, it burst through. It burst through. The gate's wide open. And the Wulu, Wulu that was there since yesterday. <laughs> that Wulu, where do you think he got off to? Yeah, this kind of reminds me of Majora's Mask. Like the feel that it's giving right now. Hey, yo, homie. What in the? This is an interesting start for the game. It's a mirage. I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in and that mad Pokemon attacked, but at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hop? You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. Mark on out on front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. A wild Wooloo. <gasps> yes! I'm acting like this is a big deal. I caught a Wulu. <laughs> Squiv it. Yes! Got another one. Rookity. <gasps> it's a Caterpie! And we've got it. That's a full party, isn't it? Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. Oh, looks like you've got a Rotom phone. In that case, I'll make so you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Zo! Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? She lives in the house along Route 2. Down along Route 2. And we are back for another one! Honestly, it's been three days. Game came out on a Friday, and from Friday through Sunday are my busiest times. So, here I finally am, getting to play again. And I did a little bit of research. Pop into Pokemon Center, check it out. Okay, whatever. Did a little bit of research, found out that the mystery gift is a Meowth and you can only get it one time. So I'm not getting it! Nope, I'm saving that for myself. Ooh, what here in the train station? I want to explore a little bit. Welcome to the Pokemart. May I help you? Ooh. I need more, more Pokeballs, so... Why don't you have Pokeballs? Bruh. I don't think you even have anything. What be this? I got a fishing rod. It's this way. Um, so nice weather we're having. The world you see out the window of a train, it never stops changing. Isn't it lovely? Stop sitting down. See, I just kind of got up, got a lot of recording to do because I was already behind schedule and this came, game came out, so now I got uh, so many series to do. See, the Charizard pose, just doing the pose along with Leon makes me feel like I've gotten stronger. What about you? 
I saw Leon at the station. He had such a powerful presence, I recognized him before he even got close. Oh my gosh. This is what I don't like about celebrity things. Is everybody starts freaking out and are just kind of like, okay, chill, stop being so absorbed in their life. What you gotta say, little kid? I want to be a professional Pokemon trainer when I grow up. But I can't think of any Pokemon... About Pokemon day in and day out the way Leon does. Okay. Leon's just amazing. He's a superstar to everyone. Alright, what about you, uh, a man puffing his chest out? I've just remembered what the sign here used to say. To the right is the Pokemon Lab, on the opposite side of the station. That's it. All around here is just quiet countryside. But wait until you see a big city. It'll take your breath away. What do you gotta say? If you ever get lost during your travels, don't forget your trusty town map. I feel like I shouldn't be wasting so much time talking to people. But I'm gonna do it anyway. What you gotta say? That rather grand building beside us is the Pokemon Research Lab. But if it's Professor Magnolia you're seeking, you'll find her at home, down the far end of Route 2. I knew it! She's the granddaughter and assistant! I feel like she just tried to play it off as, like, she was the assistant, but my grandma lives down the road. My gran. Like, shoo. Got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team! By battling strong Pokemon in the wild... But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way! Not to mention what battling another trainer can do! Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers! Lucky... Luckier... Yet... They're dead easy to spot! They look the same everywhere you go! Come on, MC! Bet you've never been inside one! Son... Let me sell you some. Honestly, doing his voice kind of hurts. <laughs> if I'm being real. Level with me, MC. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Of course not. Then I don't think you need me to tell you what you already know. If you kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers! I'm already good, though. I'm heading to Route 2, MC. Come find me, maybe, when you're done here. Alright, bye, kid. Did you just randomly help? Yo, that Rotom don't look like it's in good shape. Anyway. I uh, got some Pokemon questions, feel free to ask. Eh, I'm good. What you gotta say? I'm so thankful for Pokemon Centers. They fully hear your Pokemon as many times as you need, and for free! Alright, do you got Pokeballs? I need Pokeballs. Homie, I can't catch anything if you won't sell me nothing. I even see the Pokeballs there on the shelf behind you! Shoot. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? It'll take Pokemon for a few seconds. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. It's always the same everywhere you go. Like every single game. Thanks for waiting. Score Bunny and the rest of your team should be all better now. We hope to see you again. Oh, she getting personal with it. What be this? Is this just a regular? Yeah, it's just a regular PC. I'm good. I was wondering maybe there's something different, but nah. Hee hee hee! This month's birthday horoscope is spot on. Do you want me to tell? Uh, want me to tell you your fortune too? Sure, whatever. Okay, in that case, can you tell me what month you were born? Next, I need to know what day you were born. Got it. So your birthday is. Yes. Since you were born on your fortune is... Let's see here. Um, what's the stain here? Oh, this must be for my snack. Uh, the page is smudged and I can't really read it. Ahem! People with your birthday are going to be super duper lucky. You might even turn it, run into a legendary Pokemon. Or maybe not! So anyway, see you later! Thank you for the vagueness. Whoa. She gone though. Um, let's see, what else can we do? In the morning, my Pokemon wakes me up, and in the evening, I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine a life without Pokemon. What about you? If you're looking for the Pokemon Professor, you can usually find her at her lovely home by the lake, enjoying the slow life. Yeah, I've read plenty of manga about slow life. Yo, is this her again? 
heard that Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer just like Leon. I already beat his butt. What you gotta say? Berries, I've got fresh picked berries. What do you say? Interested in some? No. Oh, ooh, we get our fashion on. What you guys say? Having a meal with your Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. Whatever. It's fun to do some shopping in a boutique. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. Yeah, I don't like this hat. What can we do? What can we do? Um. Hi, right, welcome to our boutique. Anything I help you find? So, hold on. What is? No. What is it that we have on net? Wow, there's a lot of options. <laughs> um, let's see. That's a dope looking C. I would never wear it though. If I'm being real. <laughs> oh, I see my style already. <laughs> uh, yes, put it on. There it is. Oh, let me look see what else they got. <laughs> I'm gonna blow all my money on making my like real life outfits. Yo, for real. I guess I'll just keep wearing these jeans because I don't wear skinnies. Uh, let's do the black crew socks. All right, what well we got? Only loafers. Everywhere it's loafers. I ain't doing loafers. White canvas. Now, I haven't had a bag in a while. Um, these are all the hat options. Well, I guess I should at least get... Uh, I'm not liking these. Yo, can I do one glove like Mike? Guess not. I think I should get a different bag. And yeah, we'll do this. Let's put it on. And I should probably do a knit cap because that's probably what's gonna actually work best with me personally. I don't like it, but let's do it anyway. I would do a lot better with a fitted. But they ain't got fitteds. Alright. I'm all swagged out with new style. The bag is still the same size though. You think that like making fun of the old bag, the new bag, would be like a completely different size? But nah. Listen, MC, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? Uh the gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate! The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right of the to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part too! A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. Bet. But I'm still gonna trespass in this house first. Sonya and Lee used to have a healthy rivalry, but... But what? But what? What you guys say? Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go all out, even on practice matches. So I guess the story is like, I moved here more recently to the point that I never met Leon. But Leon and Hop, I had to remember his name. Uh, they've been here for a long time. I'm the new kid on the block. Wow, I wonder where the professor lives. In order to bring out the full strength of their Pokemon, trainers must be knowledgeable. Basics for Pokemon Trainers Lesson 2. Don't forget to record your progress often. Basics for Pokemon Trainer Lessons number three. Oh, Trainer's Lesson three. If a Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, its move power increases. What do you guys say? 
Basics for Pokemon Trainers Lesson 1. The Pokemon at the top of your team will be the first one to enter the battle. I'm sorry I did that voice. I apologize. You see that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon Professor lives. Word? I had no clue. I meant to turn and look more at you instead of turn the other way. <laughs> Alright, let's go down. Down, down, baby. What up, Hop? What up, uh, Nicket? Over here, MC! Are you gonna teach me how to catch a Pokemon after I've already used up all the Pokeballs at? Alright, MC. It's time we filled in our teams a bit. And I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you have any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee! Where'd you come from? Only look at you, little MC. You've already caught some on your own. Your mom must have given you those Pokeballs, did she? You know what? Probably. I didn't pay attention. I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I'll only add, ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch, almost like they're itching to join some trainers. Team, wouldn't you say? I hate when there's a little bit more to the sentence, but it didn't load in yet because they couldn't fit on the line, and then I just sound dumb, ending it because it sounds like it ended, and then he says more. 20! The Pokemon, the Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too. Didn't used to be like that. And of course, they get XP points. I know it's experience. I always say XP. I'm just used to XP. From battle. So take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champions something good, all right? Just don't ask me to to catch something I already caught. All right, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. All right, I want to see some. I want to see some new new. I already saw the Nicket that was in the grass. I already have a Nicket. So that's that squirrel again. You know what? Battle me. I don't know what you are. You're hiding. I love a good hoo, hoo but why are you out here? It's daytime. That's my only question. Is this daytime? Why are you here? <laughs> All right, can you hold on? I guess a little bit. All right, I don't think I can really weaken you much more. So let's try to catch you. Apparently, you're itching to join the team. And Hoot Hoot was caught. And we'll leave it in the PC for now. Uh, once Caterpie becomes a Butterfree, I'll probably swap it out. I want to get things to evolve. Like I said, I kind of want to fill up my Pokedex. Yes! All the levels! All the levels! Oh, uh, now we get descriptions, right? Uh, it always stands on one foot. It changes feet so fast, the movement can rarely be seen. Uh, send a box. We'll get Hoo Hoo out later. You rookie, stay away. I already got ones of you. <gasps> Yipper! You came out to greet me! Okay, you might just straight up join the party. Like, immediately, immediately. Ooh, you level seven, Sue. You got some strength. A crit. Dang. Uh oh. Don't nuzzle me. Actually, you can nuzzle me. Don't nuzzle my score bunny and make it paralyze. Oh, he bounces slower now, Sue. Rock. 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 Yes. Gotcha, Yamper was caught. Let's go. I do my thing, let's go. I do my thing, let's go. I do, 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 I do. If I were to be real, the Pokemon that should probably be benched first would be Wulu. Okay, Electric Puppy. This Pokemon is very popular as a herding dog in the Galar region. 
As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. Um, let's add to the party. But we gotta send something back. Like I said, Ulu. To the box you go. And now I want to go heal up. Ooh. I found a revive! Nice! Alright, let's get back to it. Look at all those squirrels. A lot of squirrels. A lot of rookies. Stay away from me, rookies. I already have one of you. I don't want more. Ooh, an item. And a trainer. He's just standing there, menacingly! It's common manner for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Yes, I know the tradition, Jake. And you gotta squib it. I don't even care how it's called and what its actual name is anymore. I'm just gonna squib it regardless. This is fun. With it. And come on, hurry up with your moves. Wish I could speed up button, but there is none. Not in this game. None in the other games either, it's just emulator. Was that it? You done already, homie? Yep. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. Okay. What be that? Ah, you little turtle. Choodle. Let's go, score bunny. I don't think you're actually water type, though. If you are, cool. Ah, you are! I see how it would be. Let's just go with a regular tackle. This might actually do way more damage. Like, way more. Oh, no, we're fine. Never mind. Ow! You... No wonder it was a crit, you jerk. It's Ember it for good measure. I knew it would live. Yeah, that's right. Tackle me, homie. And Pokeball, go! I know, I said that unenthusiastically. We should catch him too. We got him! Da -da 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 -da. And more leveling! So much leveling! So much leveling! Alright, show us what it up! What it up? So it's just straight water. Apparently, the itch of its teething impels it to snap its jaw at anything in front of it. Okay. Okay. Send the box. We ain't got no room. We ain't making no room. And let's go back and heal again. Oh, what's wrong? You can't catch me. Yeah, we back now. I want to see what this is. It might be another hoo hoo, but eh, it's just a rookie. I would love to battle you, rookie. I already have one of you, and I kind of want to keep moving along. I just wanted to see if you're something new, but you're not. So out I am. <laughs> All right, approach me, homie. Who are you? Ooh, it's a new one, Blipbug. Now this is more of the Caterpie of this game. Kind of. Everything has like a Caterpie and a Pikachu of each game. This is the Caterpie of this one. 
You got struggle up. Yeah, of course, not very effective. Oh no, my special attack fell. But I was using an attack on you. Two rot. Three rot. Easy. I think it actually becomes something pretty major, too, so... I'd like to have it join the team, but I think I'm gonna hold off on that for a bit. Alright, what you got? You're just straight bug type right now. A constant collector of information. This Pokemon is very smart. Very strong is what it isn't. Yeah, you do look like kind of one of those stereotypical anime nerd characters. You even got the little bow tie. Alright, on we march. I was about to say, little homie disappeared, but no, nah, little homie's big. Alright. Oh, it's another one of you. Eh, whatever. Oh, well, I know I can one shot you with Score Bunny. Most likely. So I'm just gonna do that. And. Ended! Yes, take that, nerd. I'm sorry to all the nerds out there. Uh, we close to having an evolution. It's one that we've always known of, but it's still an evolution. Trainer tip. Yep. Gain XP by battling other Pokemon. XP helps them grow stronger, and your Pokemon will still get XP even if you catch Pokemon when you're battling against it. It didn't used to be that way. It used to be that you only got it by defeating. That was the only way. Alright, what be you? Another rookie. Nope, we running. We running. Alright, and up here we got... Three Pokeballs! Yes! And down there, we got a female trainer that's just standing there menacingly. Cute and strong, together in combination, is gonna lose. Last Lorne. Ah, it's one of these again. You know what? I might just have to switch it out just for safety reasons for Score Bunny, because you know type effectiveness. So Yamper, go and nuzzle that thing. It's probably gonna snap at you, but eh, you'll be okay. Oh, look at it! A little hard on its butt. Go Yamper Nuzzle. How is the turtle faster than you? Oh dang. Oh yeah! Now you're faster than it. Otherwise it would probably beat you first. Because you're actually not that strong. It's disappointing actually. But we will be fine. Yamper just gonna probably get down to the orange. And one more, come on. Hang in there, Yamper. Yep, in the orange. And one last nuzzle for good measure. It's super effective. Are right, you got another Pokemon? Nope. Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a way to go. Yeah. Nothing more. It's another Yamper. Look at it. It's so cute. What is this yellow stuff coming off of it? Did that just mean that it's like really big or really small or something? Or really strong? I really don't know. Maybe I'll have to look that up, because that's something I didn't notice last time I played, and then didn't bother to look at it. Or look into it. Score Bunny's defense fell. Oh no! Oh, Squibbit got the burn! You got burn! Uh, Sunny. I want to make sure that was accurate. And just a nice light tackle. And Squibbit fainted! 
Everything's still going up. Caterpie is going to evolve. Probably battle after next. 140W. Oh, dang. Oh, do they give you money when you beat them? Oh. See, that's nice for a Nuzlocke. I wish they had a setting where you could randomize stuff for a Nuzlocke. Because then I'd probably come back to this game in time. After I beat it here on this channel. In order to do Nuzlocke, but... You know... I'm not completely sure about doing one if I can't switch things up and make it different and more interesting. Because everybody's already going to know the way that this game plays out. At least on my channel, if anyone were to watch in the first place. They're not. But yeah, sadly the way it goes is uh, I'm posting this series rather late. Like, the first episode is going up. Will, ha will have gone up three days late. In comparison to like when the game came out because like I said I got busy I was able to play one hour before all my busyness set in and that's what everybody got to watch for the first episode if they even bothered clicking on my channel and then I got it edited over the time that I was busy like slowly set it to upload internet cut out while I was uploading because that happens all the time for some reason and so when it could have gone up on Sunday instead went up on Monday which is today. And it actually hasn't gone live for me yet. But I'll get to that. First, uh, I gotta beat this Nicket. And then... Let Caterpie evolve into a Metapod. Because, you know, I'm done defending myself now. Ah, uh, Nicket's using Quick Attack, huh? Two damage. Two. Uh, let's see how a Quick Attack will do against you. From me. That's actually stronger. Because you're a physical attacker, that was a much better move for you to use. And that's stupid, because it's not even your typing. Lose to wild Pokemon, lose to many trainers. Dang, we just crushed this little boy's dreams. Oh, here we go. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, that's fast. Caterpie evolved into Metapod. Oh, and then we get the entry from Metapod now. We never got it for Caterpie. It is waiting for the moment to evolve. At this stage, it can only harden, so it remains motionless to avoid attack. I don't think that's how it works. There we go. There's Harden. Yo, you okay, little man? Pokemon Eye in the Tall Grass or Trains Wing. Which one you choose is up to you. Okay, so you're not going to be completely emotional like that. You were the money one, right? Because I wanted to battle the money one. But I feel like I kind of overshot it and hit the other one. Oh no, we're too nervous to eat berries. Whatever will we do? I need to stop that. Why did I not use Quick Attack when I just proved that it's actually stronger? Uh... You'd think Ember would be stronger just because of type effectiveness, at least, but nah. Nah. Woo! Goodbye, Growl. Hello, Double Kick. Well, Squivet, run into me now. Same with you, Nicket. I did overshoot it! I want this money. Give me that money. Uh, oh look, it says not very effective. We going quick attack this time. I don't care if you lower my defense. You're not doing that much to me. Even with all the damage already done to me. Uh, why can text not go even faster? Nice peck. Sit down. And, yes, Nicket went up a level. Learn home calls, don't care. Yep, money. It's all about the money. 
I wanted to stay away from the turtle, and it's another nerd bug. Yes, I know, blip bug. It's a nerd. Super effective! Sit your booty down! Too easy. Too easy. Alright, I guess we should, uh... Stop with the nonsense. Ooh, wait, we got another... <gasps> it's a purloin! I guess we'll catch you. Now, I... Should just use Ember. I cannot use Double Kick, because Double Kick will kill it. Oh no. Not a sand attack. But it doesn't affect the throwing accuracy of my Pokeballs! Which is why we're gonna be fine and catch it. Nice. <gasps> Nothing leveled up? What? All right, dark type. It steals things from people just to amuse itself with their frustration. A rivalry exists between this Pokemon and Nickit. Huh. Uh, send a box. We'll battle this one and then we'll move on. Yeah, we'll move on with our lives. Go, score bunny. Now, I'll be 100% real, the reason why I haven't really switched up who's leading the party and attacking and everything like that is because Scorebunny is probably going to stay on the team. Everybody else on the team, probably not staying on the team. Rookie D is the only one that might be an exception. But I kind of just want to say battling with Pokemon I know are going to stay on the team. Oh, she look old. Look, there's the professor! So, have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I've hoped to get that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. I... Why, Hop, dear. I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be MC. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have complete it in no time. You'll have it completed. You'll have it complete in no time. I feel like completed would be the proper way to say it. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, MC? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. It takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing to the fullest. Sounds like drugging. There you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about too, you know? Like how many different types of tea there are. Hey, Professor! Do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge! Oh, Leon. Why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and MC only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dearie, I thought your dream was to have everyone in Galar's region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. The goal is precisely the reason I gave th uh, them both Pokemon, in fact. Right then. In this case, how about this? Let's see if you two can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure both of your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Always gotta do something like that, huh? Right! I'll be waiting outside, MC! Are you cool with me giving your brother a beatdown again? Again? Oh, she gotta go up them steps? Dang. Now saving. Yo, is it like dusk right now? Hurry it up, MC. 
You gotta battle so I can get myself that endorsement. Yo. Oh, it'd be so messed up if, like, I won and he didn't get the endorsement. That would be messed up. He's probably gonna give us both it, but... Dang, he would be so resentful. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need to, that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so that we can prove to Lee that we've got what it takes. Of course. Yo, what other keys you got? I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen, you two. The reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take. In part. Part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. Is he really unbeat, like unbeat, or just in competition? Because I feel like that's what it is. It's just in competition. Oh, Sunny. Oh, Sunny. Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you, put you to the test and see. Sunny. I got moves that are super effective against both your starting Pokemon. What you got next? Well, look at you! Seems you've really learned about type matchups. I've known about type matchups. I'm just iffy on fairies still. <laughs> Metapod went up. Grookey. Uh, no. We're still super effective. And plus, you're only level 8. I'm level 12. <laughs> we used Ember. Oh, you still standing, huh? I have a taste of our true power. Our green power just keeps on growing stronger. Branch poke. <laughs> you just poked me in the eye with a branch. Uh, sit down. It's super effective. What you gonna say and do now? What? What's your newest catch? It's about to send out Rookie D. Yeah, let's switch. Set out Yamper. Swap Pokemon. Let's show that we got more than just a score bunny. Let's go, Yamper. It'll be a close one. But that's exactly my sort of match. What do you mean a close one? You haven't beat anything on my team. You have three Pokemon. Two of them are done. I have six. They can all fight. <laughs> Still. The only one I would never pull out on you would be Metapod, because type effectiveness. He just sitting in the back of the party waiting to turn into a Butterfree. And there we go with the paralysis. You done for, kid. You done for. On the next turn. And you go with Leer. Of all the things, you go with Leer. Uh, sit down. Critical hits. You landed a critical hit on my Pokemon. Uh, I didn't bother to read the rest of what he said because it went away too fast. But yeah, you done. I didn't even need a critical hit. Your joint was going to die next turn anyway. Oof. Gutted that I lost. But I expect nothing less from my rival. You guys kind of declared this on my own, on your own. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too! It takes more than that, homie. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Yeah, I'll take the victory, you take the defeat. MC, hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I've got little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. Oh, what does it look like? A letter of endorsement. Oh, it's just a letter. I was thinking it was going to be like some type of badge that he gives out. It's like, this is your badge that proves that you could go without saying badges. A letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. 
Who wants to bet this is going to get stolen at some point during the game? And don't answer if you've already seen it or played it. Like I said, I'm limited on when I can play. Yes! Thanks, Lee! I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you! You may both be young still, and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our bodies. You don't feel every cell in your bodies. You don't even feel a cell. Well, you can feel a cell, you can't acknowledge that you felt a cell. Hop, you've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things like that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I'd been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. Yo, the last Little Brother album was dope. And I'd like to see something more th some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, MC. Alright, MC! You and me are gonna train up against one another to aim for that champion's title! Absolutely. <laughs> I could say, against one another? But nah. The more we keep battling against one another, the more our Pokemon will grow! Huh? What's that? Ah, two little things landed over here. What'd it be? What'd it be? What'd it be? MC, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there are two of them, you should take one yourself. What is a wishing star? Key items. A stone found in Galar region with a mysterious power. It's said that your dreams come true if you find one. Is this the key to the Dynamax? With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. I knew it's... They're gonna be massive, yes! Let's have a Dynamax battle now then, son. Trust you pull... Trust you pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know? I will be the greatest trainer ever! I will be the greatest trainer ever! I will be the greatest trainer ever! There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Yeah, that's how it works. Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Galar region. But they won't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have you sorted. Alright! I've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon. Oh, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon. Haven't you, Professor? Then please, give MC and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon! First, we gotta battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumbering weeds, and now this? This really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime! I do understand the excitement, young man, but don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Oh, she just pops up randomly. Seems like come back. uh... Back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessing with making the latest trendy curries. Okay. I hope the next town has more... Clothing. Available. I'll say that much. I will probably won't change the shirt and hoodie. But the pants, I need some loose baggy pants. I need a fitted that I can turn to the back. I need some Jordans. <laughs> I don't really need Jordans. But I need some better shoes than these. It's morning at last! And time for us to start a tr our adventure to truly start! Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Mmm, well, there was weird heavy fog. And then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. MC tried to fight it off. But I think we both passed out or something. It was all pretty hazy. A right fount of information you are. Fount. Is that supposed to be like short for fountain? You trying to be hip or something with it? MC. Hop. These are for you. Yo, she did all that in one night? Was another bracelet? Yep, it's another freaking bracelet. 
you got a Dynam uh, ban from Prof Dynamax ban from the Professor Magnolia has slipped it onto your wrist. A wishing star has been affixated to it. It lets out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when a, when at a power spot. Power spot. Those are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing star you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor! This is brilliant! It's just like the one Lee has on him, too! Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does! My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it not so simple as all that. There are a number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon that will help fill out your Pokedex too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin! Come on, MC! I'll beat you to the station! Uh... What is all this? Oh, we can do things now? Why come? Okay. Surprise trade, link battle, profile, search stamp. Oh, and this is like a little diary type thing. Like I want to communicate, I caught myself a purloin. Yes, I caught myself a pur purloin. I don't really care that much though. How can I get my achievements off the side of the screen? All right, they're still there and he's here. One last thing before we race, MC. See, I've got some great advice for you. You know how sometimes you sometimes see Pokemon wandering about out of the tall grass, yeah? I think he's gonna tell me something that I already know. If you move real slow like and crouch down, these Pokemon won't pay you any notice. I already knew that. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll be sure to catch their attention. You can whistle. If you're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. Okay. Try it out! And let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, MC. Well, I've already got more than you. You remember Wedgehurst Station, right? Where we went to go pick up Lee before? That'll be the goal. So see you there! Okay, whatever. Can I get those things off the side of my screen? Let's just connect to the internet. I am now connected to the internet. Sweet, they're gone. Awesome. Yeah, come at me, bird. I got the bird's attention. Woo! Rickety, 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 rickety. Oh, uh, someone wanted to battle me, but I'm leaving. Yamper's still all the way out here? I feel bad for it. Oh, that thing almost caught up to me. You're all the way out here? Shoot. Y'all be chasing. Because I know you guys are after me. Alright, we back to the town now. Wedge hers. Let's go. Ooh. You weren't here before. I saw Hop sneaking off towards the station. Word? Alright, alright, alright. Come on, MC! You'll never beat me to the station at that pace! You think I'm actually trying to? There's no way to actually do it. He's still waving me down. Am I full health on everything? Yes, I am. Alright. I guess we won't stop at uh, the Pokemon Center then. On we go. So out with the MC, how many did you catch? I caught a really special one, and you got... Not one? What were you doing this whole time? You're going to... You're going to want a team if you're a Homie. I got so many Pokemon that they're spilling over into the box. Why would I catch more? Yes, I know what Swift does. That's a technical machine. A TM, mate. 
With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again too. I miss the days where you couldn't. I do miss those days. That one could teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym challenge uh, will begin in Moto Stoke. And our train's waiting, so let's go! I mean, if you want it, you can get it, let me know. I, I, I. I just wanted to check something. Not quite so fast, you two. Oh no, it's our moms. What are you doing here, mom? Mom. <laughs> I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Groki as your partner, darling, two days ago. <laughs> Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last gift to see you... To see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. A set of camping gear. Dope. Uh, everything you need to set up a tent and get cooking in a wild area or at a camping spot. No matter what happens out there, if you and your partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And just think... How lucky you are, mother, to have the first ever pair of champion brothers. I'm like tripping up on what's being said. Because sometimes what they say is just weird. Because I'm certain to be the next champion, ne the champion next. Ah! You'll see. Of course you will, darling. Anyway, do have fun and take care of yourselves. Uh, you'll, we'll be welcome back. You'll be welcome back home anytime. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> why can I not spit this out right? Wish us luck. Not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running ahead of me even faster than that train can go, MC. Come on, we're off. Is there going to be like stuff that happens on the train? Like we explore it or is it just hop on the train, get off the train? Monostoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There's all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. Yeah, like that. The, a spot of fishing. Americans don't talk like that, so it's just kind of weird. Hey, Mr. Station Master. Isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the wild area station. Make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant! Brilliant. It's wild air- This wild area is massive! There are loads of Pokemon to battle here! You don't get- You get it, don't you, MC? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team! And off he goes. Let's talk to a few people. Hey, have you and Eevee had a... Nah, it's just my imagination. Sorry to bother you. Hey, have you and Pikachu had a... I knew it! You had a Let's Go experience with Pikachu, didn't you? I hope you'll have another Let's Go experience with this Pikachu, too. I was wondering when I was going to run into them. When I saw the two of them there and I saw their hair colors, I kind of put it together, but not completely. Kinda did though. Pikachu! Pikachu that can generate powerful electricity have cheek sacks that are extra soft and super stretchy. Um. Uh. So, Squivet, get out. Pikachu I gave you is very special. You should try Dynamaxing it. Okay. It seems like my children are giving something to people who've had a Let's Go experience. But what in the world is a Let's Go experience? Do you have any idea? Yes, I do. Pokemon, let's go. Ah, oh, Spine Up! You'll run into Pokemon. It's a stronger wild Pokemon the farther you are in the wild area. If you feel like you're in a pinch during a battle, just use a Poke Doll. Uh, I think I'm good, homie. 
Yes, I know what it does. No matter how strong a Pokemon is, you'll be able to catch it eventually, so long as you join the gym challenge and gather the gym badges. And what you guys say? Pokemon here to buy. Uh, do we still get a Premier Ball if we buy in bulk? Business. Always buy in bulk. Always. All right, and let's head out the station. Find our way through the wild area to reach Monostoke next. So we can't continue by train. Ooh. Ooh, special, special. And even though that looks so great and fascinating, I'm going to end off the episode here. So, it's been long enough of an episode, so that's why I'm doing that. Sorry about that, though. But this will be the start of the next episode we go into the wild area. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, any of that stuff. I'm not forcing you to. Until next time, deuces. So I wrote it in the rhyme. The Reverend Doctor got an 8K wet working. Bro, just get the race spray. My weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self entitled kings. You leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, Million Man March and Sparta, mixed with a legion of angels surrounding sons and daughters. Simon Peter with a desert eagle waving it at Caesar. So if I was you, I probably wouldn't mention me either.